Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to get one of these, a ZX Spectrum, working on one of these, a Raspberry Pi 2. So we're going to have some retro fun and look at some of the old games that i got running on it. And uh, the in the middle of the video I'm going to take you through how to get it all uh, up and running. And the end of the video uh, I'm going to show you guys where to get the actual ROMs from. So here it is started up in full screen mode. So all you do is press escape, which brings up this little menu. Make sure the sound chip is set to AY, which I think it defaults to anyway. And also make sure mode 48K is on. So go to there and just select your game. So the first one we've got is Manic Miner, an absolute classic. I couldn't I couldn't not do a video without doing Manic Miner. So I played this myself when I was about sort of six years old. And as you can see, it plays absolutely perfectly. Except I can't quite work out the keys. The keyboard mapping uh, on a standard keyboard doesn't quite relate um, to how the ZX was, so there's a bit of key mapping. Here's another classic, Pac-Man. You know you love it. Oop, died. So this is just uh, using the arrow keys to w to work your way around. Oop, move away from him. So the emulation on the Pi is absolutely perfect. So <coughs> here I'm using the Unreal emulator um, rather than the Fuse. I know a lot of people use the Fuse. Um, I didn't have a very smooth um, installation with that one. Um, but the Unreal has actually worked really, really well. Nope, missed. Yep. Let's grab him, grab him. Go, 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 up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, got him. Oh, died. So, what else we got? Paperboy! So, this is also a good classic that I used to play. I also believe I played it on the uh, Amstrad uh, 6128 as well, which I'm, I'm going to try and do a video on that one. I couldn't actually work out how to move the bike. Ah, oh, there you go. Got it. So it takes a bit of fiddling uh, to work out what your keys are. So what else we got? Paperboy. Ah, jetpack! You can't beat a bit of jetpack. There you go. So this was Q and A, and then the arrow keys to move around. Oh, there's the shooter. Nope, died. Takes a bit of getting used to. I absolutely love this game um, when I used to play it before. And now you have to go down there. Let's try this again. That's better, right, got used to it now. So once you get the keys right, it's a lot of fun and obviously try not to die. Let's grab your fuel, pop your fuel on it. Grab the fuel there. I'm actually gonna see if I can actually fly off. Grab that fuel there, drop that there. Once you get the knack of it, you're all right. And oh, nice and easy. There you go. Grab that. Just drop down there. Drop down there. Oh, I should really stop playing this. Oh, died. And off we go. Uh, and the second level is exactly the same as the first, except for some slightly harder baddies. 
Let's see what else we got. The Hobbit, another absolute classic. <clears throat> I always remember how painfully slow um, the drawing of the screens were. So open door. <clears throat> Open the round green door, Gandalf goes east. So let's go east. This is there's actually so many bugs in this, it's unreal. It's actually more fun spotting the bugs than it was actually playing the game. There you go. So take map. Take map. Arse. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Modern words. Yes, he is. Yeah. If I remember rightly, I actually almost finished this game. I know it's quite easy now, but um, let's see what else we got. There you go. It's quite amusing actually on how bad the uh, the colours were on this thing. Where the little sprite colours merge with the backgrounds. That's something that I'll never ever forget. Let's jump up on there. Eee, off you go. What else we got? Arkanoid! Yep. Actually trying to work these keys out is very, very difficult. Every game seems to have a different key map, which I find strange. Oh, missed. How do you move this thing? I can't figure this out. Ah, let's move on. Let's try again. One of the advantages of this emulator is it does um, stream the audio through the HDMI lead. Um, I'm using the 3.5mm jack because the way I'm capturing it uh, didn't um, actually transmit the audio for some odd reason, hence there's a, an analog hiss on the audio. You wouldn't get the hiss uh, if you was plugged in directly. Ah, got it. There you go. Look at how accurate that ball is. Not. Ah, missed. Oh, these games get so addictive. Right, what else we got? And finally... Oh, Robocop! Oh, the graphics are so poor. I remember actually playing this uh, more on the Amstrad than I did the uh, Spectrum. And uh, I can't even figure out what keys this is, to be honest. Why would he move? I'm just dying. Oh, died. One more go. Come on, shoot. Oh, sod this. Ant attack. So I have a quick look at this one and then we'll look on how to actually get all this set up. Now I don't remember it being this basic. Um, 
But yeah, again, this is another game um, that I just, for the life in me, cannot work out how to get the guy to bloody walk. I can get him to jump. Maybe if you guys can tell me, I don't know, but <clears throat> I can switch the screen around. He can do a little dance. He's just not doing, oh, no, no, he's not doing anything at all. No, that's just swapping the screen around. He's just doing a little dance, that's it. He will, refuses to walk. Right, that's it. So, let's go through the installation process. So, as with everything, we're going to start from the beginning. So, make sure you expand your uh, storage on your Pi from a fresh install. Uh, and do the um, sudo app to get update, just to make sure that you're fully up to date. So I've whizzed through that because that's all pretty standard stuff now. So once you um, start up your Raspberry, and what you need to do is actually load it from the Pi Store. So load that up, and you need to log in. So put your uh, email and your password in there. Let's log in there. All right, and then search for Unreal Specky. And then click on that one. It's the only one that comes up anyway. Uh, hit download. Uh, and then click on the uh, download link there. Now there is a slight delay here uh, while it installs, because it downloads and then installs it. So if you go to my library, it actually shows there, but it's still um, install. Oh, there you go, it's installing now. got a little notification in the top right hand corner just showing us that it's downloaded. So once that's run what we need to do is copy the ROMs um, onto your SD card. Um, I haven't mounted my USB pen um, in here so I just thought it was easier to be honest to create a folder uh, in the home drive um, of your Pi. So I just called mine spec ROMs. And I'd actually downloaded over 10,000 games, which I'll show you at the end of the video where to get them from. So I <coughs> selected a few out of them, moved them into this folder, because it takes forever to bring up the um, directory listing. So simply just copy them from your pen. So copy, and then just dump them straight into your um, SD card that's uh, in the Pi. And then hit launch and that will cause the Pi to reboot and then it will boot up um, with the emulator. So I found um, you can go to World of Spectrum to download the odd ROM if you're just looking for a specific game. Um, I fancy some choice and the, what I did was I, I went to a torrent site. Uh, it is perfectly legal to download these because they are on free distribution. So uh, if you haven't got a torrent client this is how you do it. Just go to utorrent.com uh, and download there. It's pretty sort of standard stuff really um, but I'll just take you through it very quickly. Uh, accept all the defaults. Go to your favourite torrent searching site, so in my case it's torrent.link. So that's the client up and running. Uh, and then kick off the download. So you're actually looking for ZX Spectrum 10,000 ROMs, so that gives you pretty much every game that was ever, ever written um, for the Spectrum, so you can uh, play all night long. So simply just ex, um, that downloads a 7z uh, uh, compressed file. 
So what you need to do is uh, just open that up uh, and that extracts an ISO uh, which is a um, like a CD duplicate. So there it is. So simply open that up. Um, so get it extracted first of all. Oh, can't use my mouse. Hold on. Right, extract. So extract that out to a folder of your choice. So we'll just pop that, uh, extract that out to the USB pen. Um, or what you can do is you can, if you've got Windows 8, you can actually mount the ISO directly. Uh, which is what I've just done here and there's all the files uh, and then simply drag them into your um, uh, pen so as you can see there is quite a lot of games there to select it's about 180 meg downloads it's not, uh, it's not too big so simply drag that into that folder there and let that extract and then obviously in the, pre in, in the previous video that's you then transfer what you want um, to your SD card or transfer the whole lot. So that's the end of my video. Um, I hope I've given you a bit of an insight to some retro fun um, and uh, showing you the procedures on how to get that all working on a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, using the Unreal uh, Specky emulator. So thank you for watching. Um, if you like my video, uh, please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, any questions or feedback, please leave me a comment. Um, I'm doing lots and lots of Pi 2 videos at the moment. Um, so if you want to see more, please do hit subscribe. Uh, and then you'll be notified uh, when some new uh, footage uh, gets uploaded. So thank you again for watching. And thank you to all my fan base. Take care, take care guys. See you later.